Okay, this is a Camco snare drum, Chinook era, six and a half by fourteen that I just bought, and I am going to take it apart right now. What it looks like is someone put on some very thin veneer on it and um, kind of went around the badge here as you can see <laughs> pretty funny and uh, the seller basically said uh, that he thought it would come off and that the original black paint was still under there and as you can see, uh, there's some over spray from the factory along the edges there. And the inside appears to have been possibly sanded lightly. And um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble it. It appears to be all original. I don't see a tone control in it and the badge appears to not have been tampered with which is interesting so we'll uh, start to disassemble it one second here Let me just find a place to put this camera. I don't have a stand. So, just have to make do. Um, I'll try to prop it up here. <laughs> that should work. Okay, here we are. Not sure if these rods are original. Um, they could be, but they look a little bit more Slingerland looking to me. As you can see, there's a shoulder on the top of them and the round head. So we're not sure on that one. Snare wires could be original. Not sure on that either. But um, I'm not so sure I like these wires. I prefer I prefer Slingerland wires ultimately from the 60s. And my second preference would be Ludwig script logo wires. But that's, um, that's down the road here. Look at the original head on there. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> okay. Let's get these heads off. As you can see, these top rods look a little more original look at the uh, head on them it's uh, a lot more like camgo would use a little bit thicker washers <laughs> And um, 
like I said, it's a, it's a six and a half. Look at that. It was advertised on eBay as a five or five and a half. But the six and a half is a much more desired model. Much rarer. Um, I don't know if this is the original finish underneath. It appears to be flat black. That wouldn't be original. Well, we'll get to it. The parts are very clean on this drum. Um, I don't see any pitting. Or not much anyway. I like to use a big screwdriver here because the heads on these are the wide slot. So I like to take them out with a bigger screwdriver so it doesn't mess up the heads on them. nice you can see the uh, quite nice Well, it looks like the, we just did the magnet test to the hoops. They are chrome over brass. That's a big deal. So second generation hoops, they are really in nice shape. Not sure what they did with the finish on this one. We'll get to it. Uh, a little bit of time to uh, get this veneer off, but we'll take it off carefully. And hopefully there's a finish underneath here that we can salvage. Let's uh, make this a little quicker on the this assembly. I wouldn't use this method to put the drum back together because you could ruin the slots on the screws. I do that all by hand, but to disassemble it, it's uh, a little quicker and seems to work fine. Throw off works great. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous, and it works really nice. OK, 
Okay, we've got this thing just about down to the bones here. Butt plates in really nice shape. Appears to be all original. So you can see that the veneer is bubbling and we can see that the badge has been lifted so the veneer could be applied. Pretty hokey job. But at least they didn't take the badge off. Okay, we're back with this uh, Chanute era Camco 6.5 by 14 8 lug snare drum. I guess this is called the Concert Aristocrat. Um, it was um, available in different finishes. Here's the catalog that it came out of. Um, Custom had bought the company by this time. Um, and here's the finishes that were available. Of course, we've got the clear maple and walnut stain, the moss green stain, red stain, ebony stain. Problem here is with this drum is that um, it um, has been painted uh, with the black paint, flat black paint of all things. I don't know, I guess, I'm assuming it was some kind of a maple finish underneath, although I can't see a clear coat on it. It just looks like un unstained, unfinished wood underneath that badge. And we're at the point of um, having to remove the badge. So it's been a few days since I've posted anything on this because um, I'm just thinking it through. Now here's a spot where I removed the flat black paint with stripper and then um, some lacquer thinner on that. And then I went over it with 320 sandpaper. This is what I've got. Which is not going to work for a maple finish as you see in the fleck grain you'll always see that black way down there in that grain so the maple will not work um i guess we're just going to have to remove this badge which is a shame i i really don't like doing that i i really don't like refinishing drums um, but um, this drum is at that point where you know, there's a decision have to be made. I can't live with it the way it is. and um, So I don't like refinished. Well, I should say I don't like coverings on drums necessarily. None of them look right. So uh, I guess my choice would be at this point would be uh, some kind of a wood finish, I guess. Um, it just depends on how this is going to turn out once we get the um, paint off of it and everything. So let me uh, 
get the paint off and we'll uh, come back to you okay okay battery ran out there I'd had to replace it so first what we do is we heat this material up with the heat gun and then uh, quickly go over it and get it off of it Let me show you this little jig that I built for working on drums. It's just made out of uh, 2x6 and I guess it's about 14 inches wide which would accommodate most uh, drums. And it just sits in this little channel. These boards are on an angle here, these 2x6s. I just screwed them in there and then I hold up hold the uh, drum in with the pressure of a pipe clamp so that's the what that's the way I sand and do a lot of work on drums and so now we'll just heat this stuff up here this veneer it's got this peel and stick paper on it it's not uh, coming off all in one so it's just a matter of sticking with it. not to gouge your wood with the sharpened uh, the sharpened uh, putty knife I should say you know, stuff gets kind of gummy in there so doesn't all come off in one. It's just kind of a nasty job. Then I just kind of clean up my edge there. I'll do it again.
You have to get this putty knife just at the right angle so you don't dig into the wood. Because that wouldn't be good later. Okay, so where we're at with this drum is uh, we've taken the sticky uh, veneer off the drum and um, the badge has been renew removed. Uh, we've put some tape on the holes on the inside so there's no bleed through when we remove this paint. We don't want to damage the interior. And now we've got a bunch of sticky surface on the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on some chemical gloves and get some lacquer thinner and go over the outside of the shell with a rag. Okay, so we just put this micro thinner on this rag in a liberal fashion and get all the sticky nonsense off of here. And when it dries, we can use some sandpaper and try to get this thing down to. All right, there we have it. Uh, the sticky gooey glue is removed from the shell. And um, as you can see, it's flat black. Really don't know what this shell was before that. But um, we've also got a elongated hole where the throw off it goes. I don't know what's going on with that either. We've got the throw off here, and yeah, I don't know. It's either a bad Friday or someone has replaced the throw off. Not sure which. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it down to the wood with some 220. Well, guys, this is going to do it for the uh, for this portion of the video restore on this Camco. Um, I'll be posting the rest of this project in future videos, so keep an eye out. Probably be like weekly. If you found this video to be helpful, please post a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's a brand new channel. I'm trying to get some viewers. Hopefully... Um, we can get this thing up and running. I'll be posting all kinds of interesting videos. Not only do I restore drums, but I build parts for drums uh, from scratch. I repair throw-offs. I do all kinds of things that you might find interesting. So this is just a start. Um, like, share, uh, you know, with others that find this content interesting. You know, spread the word. So till the next one, if you can do it yourself, not only will you learn, but you may even find a better way that you can share with the vast drumming community. Till then, take care.